Game Ranks presents five Call of Duty Black Ops 3 game concepts that make no sense. Look, we're fine with Call of Duty, and we know a lot of you guys out there are fans, but sometimes we like to poke fun at some of the game logic, so let's get started off with number five. So this one's kind of strange, but if you think about it, supply drops aren't even worth the $2 on average spent. We have the cost by cost breakdown that we linked below thanks to handy Reddit user the Alien Zombie who did all the math for us. He breaks down all the costs and percentages and dollar values and it's actually a lot of math, but the long and short of it is you're basically kind of stupid if you're paying money for a supply drop. You have less than a 0.2% chance of getting a weapon from a supply drop. The supply drops themselves are insanely overpriced with like 5 to 11 times the value of contents. And even if you somehow got all three new guns in a supply drop, you really only save $6 over buying them individually. It's basically like a gamble, and a gamble that is very much stacked against you. I get it's cosmetics only, but it still just kind of seems like a waste when you look at all the numbers. There are people out there, maybe some of you guys are guilty for paying for them, but maybe now you'll think twice. The Alien Zombie on Reddit actually had some great suggestions on how to make the system better, including firstly offering the ability to buy every black market item individually for keys, lower the cost of the actual supply drop so you're saving money, show the actual drop rate of the items, or show what you're going to get. So really, like we said, with transactions and stuff like this, think before you buy, because Activision is kind of pulling at your wallet with this one, and it's total bullshit. And at number four, this isn't necessarily a game concept, but more of a player playstyle concept. Look at this. This is not good. This is how you die. Now, look, I'm all for staying close and being in teams, but the players that stick really close together die together. This is a perfect example. These guys are about to get wrecked. There's something to be said about staying a team player, but also kind of sticking to your own personal space. This is a perfect example. Don't be like these players. At number three, okay, here's some really stupid logic. Look, you can get hit by like a thousand pound explosive, and even though you might not even be wearing a flak jacket, there's no problem, you're fine. But on the other hand, if you're wearing a flak jacket, a toy RC car can just drive by and detonate and blow you up and kill you. What the fuck is that all about? Look, I guess if you wanna get technical, a flak jacket covers your chest and protects your chest and not your legs, and the RC car is blowing up your legs, I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just think that sounds kind of stupid. What do you guys think? It's very much a nitpicky thing, but if you're a stickler for realism, I personally am not, but some players out there could probably be bothered by this type of stuff. And at number two, here's another one. A Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has realistic mode, where you die in one shot. This is obviously the absolute hardest way to play through the game, and it isn't fun. I mean, I guess it's fun if you're one of those crazy people that likes insanely difficult games, but here at Game Ranks, we just think it's really weird that you die in one shot, and all the enemies still take like three or four bullets to kill, especially in the later game. What is the deal with that? That's not fair. And also, that's not really realistic. I mean, if you think about it in terms of realism, I guess, you, as the player, you could maybe survive one or two shots, but no, one shot, you're dead, that's it. Yet for some reason, the enemy characters get the benefit of being able to take a shot or two or three. So if you think about it, it's almost like the enemies are playing realistic mode and you're playing bullshit super ultra hard mode. And I guess it's also pretty funny that we're talking about and arguing about realism in a game where you have robot arms. Like I said, we're totally just nitpicking. Honestly, there's not too much to make fun of with Call of Duty. And at number one, here's a weird concept that we definitely have some problems with. So there's this joke that's been going around about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. You, the main character in single player, are essentially kind of like an android robot half-human person. You know, he's kind of got like augments like in Deus Ex. Now, this robot person that you are has to hold your breath while aiming a sniper rifle. It can drown in seconds underwater, and he kind of bleeds, and he moves slower when he has his built-in weapon. And he also cracks his knuckles, even though they're technically robot knuckles that are not bones and don't need cracking. That's all really silly shit and kind of hilarious, right? Well, it's funny because sometimes some of these jokes can get a lot of traction when they're pretty much wrong. And first of all, in terms of drowning, when you get out of the water, you can hear your exhaust when you exit the water. You know, maybe it's his robot lungs breathing or whatever. You also don't actually get heavier with your arm weapon out. And you don't hold your breath when stabilizing a sniper rifle or anything like that because you can hear some clicking and winding up, which you can assume is maybe the animatronic arm Arms adjusting for recoil and stability. So we're getting really technical and really ridiculous here about a fucking Call of Duty game. But I just wanted to point out that common thread and some of the misconceptions within it. That being said though, if you want to argue with all this stuff and like how it affects the character, you can also just argue that the end of the game kind of explains away a lot of these issues. And we're not going to spoil it here, but those of you guys who have completed the game probably know what we're talking about. 
So guys, those were five Call of Duty Black Ops 3 game concepts that make no sense. Look, we have fun with games, we love playing them, but sometimes we just like to nitpick and poke fun at them. So with that being said, we want to hear from you guys in the comments. What kind of weird logic problems do you have with Call of Duty? Whether it's Black Ops 3 or any other Call of Duty game, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more, clicking the like button helps us out and it lets us do more videos. And if this is your first time here, subscribing is a great idea because we release videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.